You're a falling star You're the getaway car You're the line in the sand When I go too far You're the swimming pool On an August day And you're the perfect thing to say And you play it caught But it's kinda cute Oh, When you're smiling me You know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend But you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing Your every line Your every word Your everything Hi Grandma, um, we love and miss you so much and we're so sad that we can't be there in person to give you a hug. Nothing would make me happier than to be up there with you guys during this time. Um, just want to share my favorite moments with Grandpa. I think definitely growing up it was Grandpa taking me to Sir Speedy and letting me play on his typewriter upstairs near Den all the time and teaching me how to type. Um, in the recent past, nothing has made us more happy than to be able to take our semi-annual trips up there and watch you guys with Max and see how happy him interacting with you guys made everyone. Um, Max always talks about Grandpa's Grabber and they will always share their love of cupcakes, walkers, and grabbers. We even had to get Max a grabber after the last trip and he played with it all the time until he broke it. Um, we love you so much, thinking of all of you, big hugs. Hey everybody, so I just wanted to share a quick story, my favorite story uh, about Grandpa Nathan and me. Uh, I was 10 years old and he was watching me for the afternoon one day and he asked if I wanted to see a movie in the theaters. And I did and I know what I wanted to see and I convinced him to take me to see South Park bigger, longer and uncut. Uh, which is a rated R movie filled with about three or four hundred F-bombs. Uh, and he's taking his ten-year-old grandson to see it. Uh, it took some convincing, but we finally went. And I remember after the movie, I felt really bad that I had, that I had uh, lied to him and told him it wasn't going to be as bad as it actually ended up being. But, uh, you know, I really enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed spending time with Grandpa. And from that moment on, that solidified him as the coolest grandpa uh, that I could ever want. And uh, that's, that's, my, that's my favorite memory of him. Um, sorry I'm not able to be at the funeral and give pro proper goodbyes. But uh, he knows that I love him and I love uh, each and every one of my family members. And uh, I wish I could be there to attend. And I always love you, Grandpa. So it's not easy picking my favorite memory of Grandpa Nathan because there's so many. Um, my, maybe my top two would be uh, spending time at, their, at Grandpa Nathan and Grandma Judy's house on Empire Lane and all the Jewish traditions like celebrating Passover, Hanukkah. I'm going to miss them. To the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your mistakes. So Yossi and I had taken a trip when we were about 14 and 15 uh, To visit Grandma and Papa uh, When we were leaving, we got a... Uh, we got them a gift and we got a box of chocolates and a Michael Buble CD. And the second we gave it to them, I remember Pop Up went into the dining room, put it into the dining, uh, there was a little DVD, CD player. And he started playing that song. Uh, it, was, it was the song Everything. And uh, he took Grandma's hand and it started dancing in the dining room. And that is definitely uh, one of my fondest memories of Pop Up and how I will choose to remember him. I also remember Pop Up always being concerned that I would drop out of school when I got married and then even after when I was pregnant. So here's for you, Pop Up. 
<laughs> we made it, we're here. Wish we could have met you, she could have met you. I will definitely be sharing your stories with her and your memory will stay with us forever. I love you and miss you more than you know. Rest in peace. Taylor is trying to say her favorite memory of pop up. So while she thinks of the rest of what she's gonna say, I'm gonna say my favorite memory of pop up. Bina, right after I proposed, Bina called pop up, and you know, obviously he congratulated her and he was really happy. And Bina passed over the phone to me, and so I said hi, pop up, like. Mazalto, like thank you for raising such uh, good children so I get to you know enjoy my life with Vina and then he said wow your uh, English is pretty good uh, or what do you say you actually speak English yeah he's like wow your English is so good oh yeah he's like yeah wow your English is so good so it was just funny that he uh, thought I probably don't speak that much English, but I do. There are honestly hundreds of memories and moments that I can think of um, anywhere from all the times we spent in Maryland to, uh, to him talking about the stock market or stories, but one of my f fondest or funniest moments is when we'd be in a rush somewhere and uh, Papa wouldn't be the first one out the door usually, so we'd tell him to hurry up. And instead of actually going faster, he would just move his arms to make it look like he's running and he's going a lot faster, but he was going the same speed. It was just his arms were moving faster now. And it's always great. I love you a lot and miss you and we'll never forget about you. My favorite memory of Grandpa Nathan was for my birthday one year, we went to Macaroni Grill for dinner and the restaurant was way too loud for Grandpa Nathan every time there was a lot of noise. He would yell bingo like he usually does. Um, and he was kind of making a scene with that. And at the end of the dinner, he ordered tea and the tea comes out, like you can see the smoke coming out of it, it's very hot. But he says it's not hot enough. So he sends it back and they bring it out again, even hotter this time, but this time it's too hot. So he had to put an ice cube in it to cool it down a little. I'll just never forget that dinner because he added a lot of entertainment to it. When I think about Grandpa Nathan, I can just vividly picture him sitting, smiling at the dining room table. I have one distinct memory where we were just talking about technology and the stock market and his latest and greatest pick was Microsoft. And I mean, to this day, past 90, he, he knew how to call them. I'll never forget him smiling, discussing that. Growing up uh, in middle school and high school, a lot of teachers and, and my classmates would always give me a, a lot of crap for um, the kind of notes I took, the pens I used and, and stuff like that. Um, and I never really, I was never really sure why or how I got into that kind of stuff and why it was, why I did it. Um, but now, now with Papa passing, um, I'm trying to think of my earliest memories of him. Um, I realized that my, one of our earliest memories was just going to his house, going to his office, and just going through all the pens that he has and pens that he's collected throughout the years. Um, he'd give us some, he'd share some with us, and I'd take it back, I'd use it all the time. I probably still use them today. Um, and I think that now that I'm realizing that, that that's why I have that connection to, to my handwriting, I think that's some, it's a bond that me and Pop-Up will share for, for a very long time. Some of my fondest memories of Pop-Up were whenever we would come visit him in Maryland. I, we would go in his office, just us two, and first we would try to figure out how to open up his Gmail, which took like 30 minutes. <laughs> then when we finally gave up, gave up on that, we would we would just talk and he would just tell me stories about grow, like his life growing up and just like things that like really influenced him and, and throughout, the, throughout his whole life. And like it became our nightly routine so every single night like i would go in his office and we would just we would just like talk until until he basically fell asleep and then i don't know i'll, I'll never forget this we would always end the night by him like taking a quick prick of his blood and and like testing out for for his diabetes my favorite memory of pop up was, was probably uh watching basketball with him because i know every time i'll watch he'll always give me like another life lesson and he'll always like tell me how much he cares about all of his grandkids and all of his kids and also I remember one time he came over and I tried teaching him how to play 3-2-1, which is like a basketball game. And I'd always get frustrated at him when he'll 
break the rules, but I just remember playing with him, and it was super fun. Oh, that's me, Oh, yeah.